Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in. So, if you was like me, you missed out on uh, Nintendo's Mini NES Classic, this is a great alternative. I mean, obviously you don't have the, the, the logo here, but it practically looks the same. And all you need for this to work is this case. And what you get in the case So I've actually attached a fan already, but this is uh, entirely optional. And also, I bought uh, I bought some heat sinks for the Raspberry Pi as well. But again, this is entirely optional. So essentially, all this is is an extension to your USB hubs that has uh, a power power connector and a reset and it's all powered by this cable here and uh, there's an extension for the Ethernet cable and the USBs so as I say all you need for this is Raspberry Pi I think uh, it should be compatible with all uh, Raspberry Pi's but I've got a spare Raspberry Pi 3 so I'm gonna just hook this up Sorry, I forgot to mention. Don't forget to take the SD card out first. There's actually a bay over here that you can slot in afterwards. Make sure the connectors are lined up. Put your SD card in. And for the fan, there's a connector just here. Also check the manuals and uh, see which way uh, it goes round. Got two heat sinks, so I'm just going to stick them on. There's a little compartment at the bottom, so you can store additional SD cards if you want. So you could probably have. Uh, one for different operating systems, one for Raspbian, one for RetroPie. Uh, and there you have it. Your very own mini NES. So I'm just going to power it up. And you have a power button here. Again, you have extension to two USB ports in the inside here and two externally as well. And there's also access for an ethernet port. So I've already synced this up with my controller. This is the 8-bit DO controller. It's the wireless one, uh, so Pretty convenient to play games with. 
So this is how, how I know it's connected because it's going all funny. So don't worry, it resets itself. So as it's a, a NES, I'm gonna play a NES game. Now, I'm not a, a massive NES fan, but from what I could remember what, growing up, the game that I used to play was Chippendale. So the company that builds these uh, cases is a company called Retroflag. They're actually based in China, I believe. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. So this is one of the reasons why it's taken so long for me to get one of these things. Uh, as soon as they put it up for sale, they go extremely quick. I'm going to put a link at the bottom and how you can get one. But if they're on sale, expect them to either be sold out or you'll be waiting a while before they ship it to you. There's a script online that you can find that utilizes the power button a bit better. So it shuts down in more of a safe mode instead of it turning off completely. All in all, the NES Pi case is a great looking product. It's a great alternative if you don't have the NES Mini. I know those things are quite hard to come by now unless you want to pay a bit more. So do please check out the NES Pi case and order one before they all go. Well, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.